One of the big problems in providing affordable, rapid diagnostic tests um, in low resource areas is the problem of price product parity. So we're trying to use synthetic biology to circumvent that classical manufacturing value chain and develop a technology that would allow for the production of the expensive portion of the test, the biosensor, in country. We have to start off with first um, designing synthetic DNA, foreign DNA, that we then insert into E. coli cells and then from that uh, we get them to produce a protein that turns the culture pink and so in this DNA plasmid that we've designed we have a functional enzyme so the one that's able to detect the analyte or the DNA that we're looking for we have a fluorescent tag that allows it the process to be really user-friendly and easy to do and we've got a special peptide tag that allows it to have affinity for silica and this makes the whole production process and the use a lot easier. We take that lysate and we mix it with some silica that we've extracted from sand and then over the course of an hour the proteins come down onto the surface of the silica and at the end we have now a clear solution with pink silica at the bottom. We take the pink silica then and we can use it directly in the assay format. We choose to leave it on the silica because it's removing a step in the production process, but also it adds stability to the enzymes. Um, and then uh, because we want to make sure that the enzyme is having good interaction with our sample, we move the silica through the sample in our hourglass-like format. And that allows us to control the position of the particles as well as the mixing can take that and use it to detect things like malaria for our collaborations that we're working with in Africa and for leptospirosis which is an infectious disease prevalent in Malaysia and for both of these it's important um, to be able to correctly diagnose what the patient has so that they can get the correct treatment.